Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video. I did one of these a while ago, but I don't think makeup's my kind of like let me let me let me word this right. So basically I am no way a makeup expert. Like I'm not one of those beauty YouTubers. I literally have no idea what I'm doing half the time. I literally just kind of go with the flow and wing it. Um, but yeah, I did a first, impre first impressions quite a while ago and you guys actually seem to like it so I feel like I should maybe do more of these but like I said, I'm not a huge makeup wearer. Um, I used to be but in the most recent months I just, I wear very minimal makeup but that is mainly to let my skin breathe and stuff like that and I've just been preferring like the natural look. So, at the moment, I have a collection of my foundations out because I was trying to decide which shade is going to suit my skin because I have gained a bit of a tan since I bought some of my foundations. So, I have some of my lighter ones here and then some of my darker ones. I'm trying to decide which one to wear, but that's not what we're doing the first impressions on. Um, I am going to be doing a first impressions on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in Fair. I'm not sure if this is the lightest one, but this is the one that I got and my skin was very very pale at the time when I ordered this but it took a while to come and since then like I said I've got a bit of a tan um, and I also ordered the Tartlet, ordered the Tartlet In Bloom palette which I'll quickly show you inside it looks like this very very beautiful colours, quite neutral but there's also some darker shades in there too for more of a smoky eye um, but I got it mostly because of I love the neutrals so I'm going to be doing a first impressions on these two because I've never used either of these before. Um, I'm going to see what, what I think, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see my first impressions, then keep on watching. I also want to quickly apologise for the background mess. I don't know how much you can see, but the bed hasn't been made. So I'm mostly going to focus on the, the concealer and the eyeshadow part of this makeup. I'm going to kind of speed through other things. So like I said, I'm going to try and speed through this as much as I can um, because I don't want to spend long periods of time on like other areas of the face. But I'm going to go in with the Barry M Flawless Primer. So I'm just going to put a decent amount. Obviously, I'm being mindful of my tube, but I'm trying to get it in a decent layer. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've decided to go in with a little bit of concealer first, just so because I want to see how like good the coverage is. I haven't actually watched any reviews, but I've heard amazing things. But I haven't watched too many reviews that go in depth about it or anything like that. But I've heard people say that it's an amazing product. Um, so <laughs> when I was on the Sephora website, I actually had um, like bestseller. So. It has to be good. Yeah, so I just want to see how decent the coverage is just on my bare skin. Um, and then obviously we can go in with a little bit more um, after I've got foundation on. I want to say firstly how nice the wand is. It's a big chunky wand. And you seem to get a lot, quite a fair bit of product too. Okay, so I'm just going to put a small bit first just under the eyes. And so far I haven't had to go back in at all. I'm just going to put it on my problem areas and we're just going to see, as you can see this is very very fair and I'll just put a swipe like that but so far I have not dipped it back in and I'd say we're doing pretty well coverage, well product wise I'm getting to the end of the one now but pretty impressed so far with just the amount of product that's come out of that I'm not going to put any more on, I just want to see how this goes. So I'm just going to blend away. Um, but first, like impressions, like blending, I would say it blends really, really well so far. I mean, yeah, I just kind of went away to do something, so it's probably dried a little bit, but... Okay, yep, yeah, okay, so I like it, but if you don't blend straight away, I would say it does dry quite quickly. Our coverage is good, and it's like, it, this, the product is moving around well, despite, even though it's been on my face for some time now. Like, it seems to be, like, I only put it in certain areas, but it seems to be able to spread evenly across, like, it goes far a little bit, I would say. Depending on how much coverage you want, but just for a decent thin layer, I would say it's pretty good. I mean, guys, check it out. Like, 
for a thin layer that I've kind of spread across my whole face at this point. I would say it's done pretty well, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my foundation. Obviously it's going to be a lot darker because now I look super, super pale. Like if you can compare that to my arm right now, I'm looking quite pretty pale. Actually it's not too bad, but anywho, I think I'm going to go with like a medium foundation. Um, we're going with this one, the Rimmel London 25 Hours. We're going with that with a small layer and then I'm going to go back in under the eyes of the Vic Concealer and then just in my T-zone is more of a highlight. But so far I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. Like it is a bit harder to blend but in no means does it not blend if you leave it sitting. I left it sitting for maybe like 5, maybe like 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes. Um, and I was still able to blend it. I just had to press a little bit harder but it's still blended. And I would say for for one wand, what I say it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pop this on and then we're gonna come back and do the under eyes. Okay, so I have done foundation, um, we're all blended in. So now I'm just gonna go back in again with the concealer, which I'm really, really pleased with, and I really don't want to use that much because it's not that it was too expensive, it's just that it's really, really nice. I just don't think you need it to be honest. It blends so much easier if you do it straight away. But nevertheless, it still worked really, really well before. So, we're done. First impression on the concealer. I think it's really, really good. Definitely lives up to its reputation. Um, I like the way it feels. It blends pretty well. Um, it's pretty decent coverage. And I, I like how much I little I had to use of it. Because I know that's going to last me a long time now. Um, but yeah, I really do. I would recommend that. Um, again, like, not sponsored or anything. Like, these, all these opinions are my own. So now... We am going to powder my face, set it all, and then we are going to contour and do my brows, and then we're going to go move on to the eyes. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done now, um, everywhere except eyes, so yeah, I think I'm more excited to use this palette than I am to use the concealer, although the concealer was really, really good. I was really surprised, so. You guys are going to hate me if you are into makeup. I never, ever, ever wash my eyeshadow brushes I guess you could call them ever just because I just never have I just kind of like blow into them and f like flick them like this and it usually gets most of the product out even though there are stains I just want to quickly put a d disclaimer out there not disclaimer but I just want to say that you do not have to have the top range beauty products and brushes to be able to do makeup well I literally like I have these brushes that are just from eBay or Amazon and they work just as well as these ones literally like you do not have to have a hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of brushes or like really expensive ones to be able to apply it like anyway like don't think that you can't do the same looks with drugstore products because you can but these are just products that I personally want to try out so I think first of all we're gonna go in with this color here and it's called flower child it's this one here and I'm just going to take that on a flat kind of brush. So this one here has like more of a flat end. And we're just going to apply it all over the lid very gently. Ooh, do we see this? Maybe I should zoom in. So we're taking Flower Child. And I'm just gently putting that all over the lid. I like to do both eyes at the same time so I know I'm not making any mistakes and I can easily copy the other eye. So that's what we're doing. The eyeshadows are really, really nice. I just want to see how they blend. So then I'm going to take the opposite end of this brush that's got like a little bit of more fluffy end. And I'm just going to gently blend that out into the crease a little bit. So far, I really like the way they blend. They're nice and smooth. They're quite pigmented as well. I haven't actually seen anyone do a review on this palette. I'm just going off what I'm feeling what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> you can see all my um den dodgy dental work. It's not dodgy but you know. Well it this shadow blends nice. How nice is this? See this is what I mean. I like really really neutral colours. Okay so now I'm gonna go in with a darker colour. I'm gonna go on with the one next to it. This one here and it's called Sweaty Pants. Who honestly came up with these names? Beyond me. I'm going to take that, oh, Smarty, Smarty Pants, I apologise. I'm going to just take that a little bit on this fluffy brush. I'm just going to take that and put it more towards the outer corner. The crease. Like so. 
And again, I'm just going to repeat it on this side so I don't forget. Like, I don't know how beauty gurus can do one eye and then repeat it, like, the exact same on the other. Like, when I try to do that, like, one eye looks way better. Okay, so. I think I'm going to leave it there for blending. But I'm going to go back in with that, like, packing type brush. And I'm going to pack some of the lightest colour, which is called Charmer. I'm already dirtying my palette, of course. I'm just going to pack, not pack too much, but gently go in more on the lid and towards the inner corner with that. Like so. Just very, very gently blend. So I'm pretty much done. I think I'm just going to leave it how it is now. I'm quite happy with the way it's blended. I'm quite happy with the colour. The only thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to take another brush, or this one here, and I'm going to take... This colour here, which is called Funny which is called Funny Girl, and it's like a sparkly kind of shimmery one. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner if it wants to focus. There we go. It's almost like a highlight, if anything. Just so it gives that little bit of iridescent glow. If that's the right word, probably not. I'm gonna bring it under a little bit too. I really like it. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done for eyeshadow. Um, so this is basically what I've done. It's nothing special or fancy. I was gonna add liner, but I've decided now that I'm not going to, just because I want you guys to see the eyeshadow more. So. Yeah, this is it. It's nothing, like I said, it's quite neutral because I like neutral shadows. Like, I like the eye look to be... Unless I'm going out, I don't want the eye look to be the main focus. I usually just try and go for more natural makeup so it doesn't look like I'm wearing it. But I'm wearing it a little bit. So, with that said, I'm going to cut my lashes and pop on a bit of mascara. So this is the basically finished look. I'm just going to quickly wipe off this foundation that is on my lips because it's making me look like a pale... It's making me look pale as fluff, so we are going to wipe it off. So, first impressions. I am really impressed with both of these. To be fair, I wasn't expecting them to be any more, not, I wasn't expecting them to be rubbish, I was expecting them to good, so, you know, if they were to be a bit of a letdown, I would have been really, really surprised. I love the concealer, it was super, super blendable, even though I went off for like 15 minutes and then came back and it was still blended pretty well. I did have to apply a little bit more pressure, but when I put on the second coat on top of the foundation, it definitely blended really, really easily. Um, and I loved the coverage, I loved how little product I had to use, and I loved the fact that the little amount that I did put on my face at the beginning, I could pretty much blend it. I blend, but I could have blend, blended it basically all over my face and I could have gone out like that with just like a little bit of coverage and I actually love the way it looked whereas other concealers that I use if you put them in certain areas and you blend it you will have patches where it's not blended everywhere and I like the fact that that did um, so I absolutely love that I would probably I would actually go and order another one I think in a darker colour and I would use that more of as a highlight colour but it's still I really really love it that's how much I would love it that I'll go buy another one um, and then I actually really, really love this palette too, a, the Tartlet in Bloom. It's actually the Amazon or Amazonian clay palette um, and I really, really love it. Like, I love the packaging, I love how sleek it is. It's quite thin as well so it would fit, it fits in my makeup bag um, and I absolutely adore the colours. I literally, I know I'm going to be using this all the time. Like these, I love the colours so, so much, literally. They're so, so beautiful. I'm not too sure about these ones here, but it's not that I won't use them, it's just I won't use them often, but the rest I can guarantee I'll be using daily if I'm wearing makeup, makeup daily because I always do put a bit of shadow on, even if it's just like more of a neutral look like this. Um, but yeah, first impressions, I am really, really happy. I'm so glad I bought them. I'd recommend, I would definitely recommend them. So if you guys would like to see more makeup related videos on my channel then do let me know and also let me know like what type like would you like to see. I know I've done a few but I haven't done much makeup because I just feel like I'm not good at it. Um, but yeah if there's certain looks that you guys want to see like how I do my brows, like a full in-depth tutorial or 
I don't know, maybe first impressions on other makeup items then comment them down below or maybe just reviews of other items. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But other than that, please just give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also hit that subscribe button down below. We are really, really close to 30,000 subscribers. So I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, guys, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for your continued support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.